Here's why you should never harm other characters or people or animals or anything in a lucid dream. You should never harm other things in a lucid dream. Specifically, you should never kill or in any way hurt a dream character or person unless you are being attacked by them and you really just have no other option. And here's why. Self-defense in a lucid dream is fine. Avoiding nightmares by, you know, using telekinesis to throw a dog up into the air, it's not really gonna do anything. It's not really gonna do any harm to you. Right. However, the problem is that a lot of people treat lucid dreaming like a video game. Now, in a video game, you can do anything. You usually uh, fight other characters, you know, shoot things, shoot people, shoot whatever, creatures and, and monsters in these games. And if you do that in a lucid dream, it's so much, it's so very different to just playing a video game. You are actually doing that thing in the dream. And like I've said in other videos, to your brain, it's exactly the same as if you had actually done it. So the effect, the effect on your emotional state and your mental well-being, the effect of doing something like that, like killing a dream character or fighting or intentionally causing harm to something or someone, is very negative. It's gonna have a bad effect on your mental and emotional health and well-being. Now, I can't prove that. And I don't think there's really been any kind of research or studies about that because it's such a hard thing to prove or study, right? But you can sort of be honest with yourself. And if you, there is a problem. If you're using lucid dreaming to do that kind of thing, that's not good. That's not good. It's like I said to your brain, it's like you've actually done it. The same memories will be formed. The same neural pathways will be activated in your brain. And if you compound that over, let's say three years or five years of doing that, it's gonna have a bad detrimental effect on your mental and emotional health. And this is something that's not talked about because the, the amount of people who can lucid dream is quite small anyway, as a percentage. And then of that amount, the amount of people who use lucid dreaming to intentionally harm pe other people in the dream is also another small percentage. So it's kind of like a fraction of a fraction of people that this would apply to. But I just want this to be a warning to you if you're learning how to lucid dream or if you're wondering what can I do in this lucid dreaming world or whatever, just be aware of that. Don't use it to cause harm to other characters. Don't use it to kill dream characters. Don't do things that you wouldn't do in waking life with some exceptions. What I mean is don't do things that would harm others in waking life. Of course, you're gonna do things that you can't do in waking life, like flying and all of that crazy stuff, but don't use it to do things morally that you would have a problem with in waking life or that others would have a problem with because you're gonna have a, a negative impact on your mental and emotional well-being. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time.